Well, I'll tell you what. What do you say we do a little mathematical gymnastics? We have here a triangle and a triangle. These are here to demonstrate a principle that we all know and uh, have, have known all our whole lives, and that is that 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 1 always equals 2. It doesn't equal 3. It doesn't equal 2 and a half. It doesn't equal 1 and a half. It doesn't equal 4. It always equals 2. 1 plus 1 equals 2. No extra left over. It's, it's straight and clear. Now we all know that's true, right? But you know, I tell you what, a lot of times things are just a matter of perspective. And if we change our perspective, we'll find out that the appearances will change. Because there's something peculiar about this 1 and 1 that make 2. And that is that they're in two dimensions. XY axis, two dimensions. If I move this like this, it's still in two dimensions. It's in a plane that's equal with these three sides. Well, if I take this and move it into another dimension, well, let's see what happens. I'm going to do that by disconnecting one of the vertexes. So we'll make it more flexible. We can put those out of the way. And then we'll take this and We'll move it around here, and we'll put this in here. I think this is how we do this. And then we're going to put this down here. And we're going to wrap this around here. And we're going to connect this up here in a new dimension, a third dimension, because we now have height. And now our two triangles have become one, two, three, four triangles. One on the bottom, one here, one here, and one here. One, two, three, four. So one plus one can and does, in this example, equal 4 because we moved into a new dimension, a new perspective, a new way of looking at things. And a lot of life is just like this example. If we expand our perception to include more possibilities, we find out that even what we think of as hard and fast laws can change. Every time I look at this too, you know what it makes me wonder? It makes me wonder in the Christian church, they teach that God is a trinity. A trinity is represented by a triangle. And a triangle, as I've already stated, is in just two dimensions. But we know that God isn't two-dimensional. What would happen if we moved God into the third dimension? Well, suddenly God would no longer be a trinity. God would be what we call a tetrahedron, and that's what this is. Four triangles. Four triangles made out of two triangles. So think about that. Have fun. Love you. Bye.